I just love it when things fall into place. Or at least for now. This is the PS Vita we're talking about. You just never know what the future holds for it. <laughs> Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. So, you know how I love to spy on people? Yeah, don't really think this is any kind of trade secret going on in this channel? Well, it was a good thing I did because last month in April, I happened to see something that got me really excited as a PS Vita collector. And hopefully this news gets you excited too. And for anybody who fell victim to me spying on them, well, um, I guess it's just gonna be a secret between me and the sheriff's office. And be sure to tell me what you think about this news down in the comments section. Okay, so last month in April, East East Asia Soft happened to post this. We've got something special to share in the week ahead. Be sure to keep an eye out on our social media accounts, turn on notifications, and subscribe to our newsletter so you won't miss anything. Needless to say, this got a lot of us in the PS Vita community very excited because we were assuming that, hey, it's going to be a new PS Vita physical release. And... Well, we were wrong. It turns out that this game that they were talking about the next day ended up being a Switch game, not a PS Vita game. So we were pretty much crushed as PS Vita physical collectors. And I would even go as far to say as devastated. But then I noticed something quite interesting in the comments section. People, of course, much like me, were assuming that this was Vita as I stated. And they were like, Vita? PS Vita news incoming? A lot of users said. And if I had a Twitter account for this channel, I'd probably be saying the same thing. And it just so happened that they got a reply back from Joshua Michael French. Who is this individual you may ask? He's the project lead over at East Asia Soft, so he knows everything that's going down. He knows things that we can only dream of knowing. Actually, I've tried bribing him in the past, but to no avail unfortunately. Actually, I just made that up. Someone in the thread was wondering why everybody was assuming that this was a PS Vita physical release, and he replied saying this, because they know that we have a lot of physical games being released in the months ahead. Well. This calls for a celebration. I will. Huh. I guess we do now. However, we already stated that 88 Heroes and Dungeons and Bombs would be our only Vita campaigns in April. And of course, this ended up being true. Those were the only two games that they had scheduled. Again, back in April. But the fact that he said this, well, needless to say, it got me all hot and bothered. And as we do know that PS Vita physical cartridges have unfortunately been discontinued in Asia, making them now officially discontinued globally. Yeah, I had a lot of therapy bills going on during those days. And to this day, we weren't really sure how many physical games East Asia Soft just might have had left. I've heard some speculation that maybe around the time that they made the announcement that Vita carts were no longer being manufactured, it was around 20-ish. So considering what they have released thus far, maybe we have around 16 to 15 to look forward to, just to guess here. Because again, we just don't know at this point. But according to Joshua, he said that they have a lot of physical games games coming still ahead, which I'm going to assume is going to be in the year 2021, possibly, maybe, sort of. Now at this point, the biggest questions on our minds here are, how many physical releases do they have left, and what physical releases are going to be coming? Are they going to be past games? Are they going to be games that haven't been released yet? I guess at this point, the sky is just the limit. But this is the point of the video now where I want to ask you guys, what games would you like to see them put on physical media? Now again, I just have to reiterate here. The games that they have scheduled to come out are indefinitely coming out, and that's it. They're not going to be able to take any more requests from devs or publishers at this current point, and probably forever, let's just face it, because I highly doubt Sony is going to start cart manufacturing up again, but eh, you never know, I guess. Hey, we can dream now, darn it. Now, as for me personally, I gave this some thought, and the game that came to mind the most of all, which would actually be possible to still get a physical release at this point, at least I think, would be Hardcore. Or is it called Ultra Core now? Uh, whichever. Now, why this game? Well, TLDR version of this information here. You all know that I love to be violent. But aside from that, Ultra Core was a unreleased Sega Genesis game slash Mega Drive, which ended up being saved and was supposed to be coming physically for the PS Vita. It has since been released digitally, but we physical collectors out there, we're still waiting to see what happens with this game. And that's putting it lightly. Some of us are just literally salivating at the idea of this game getting released. Originally, it was supposed to be coming out via Strictly Limited, but unfortunately, they weren't able to make the deadline in time for the English carts, which were discontinued back some years 
years ago. Oh yeah, I went through even more therapy bills during those days. So because of that, we've been getting subtle hints that maybe it might be possible still for this game to come out as an Asian English release. We still haven't seen it surface yet. Literally making us all skeletons on a t-shirt at this point. Anybody seen that Ura Zelda shirt? It's really cool. So if they do in fact have roughly around 15 to 16 games, as speculated by the community, could Ultra Core possibly be one of them? Well, I personally hope so, but I'm sure a lot of you out there have much better suggestions than I possibly ever could. And that's why I'm going to be reversing the guns again back to you guys. Wow, even my suggestions are violent. What physical games would you love to see being the last that East Asia Soft releases? Whether it be 15 more, whether it be 20 more, whether it be 50 more, hey, again, we can dream. I would love to hear your opinions down in the comments section where we can all have a nice discussion about hard copy games. I'm salivating right now. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including McKeese Blob, B Mystery, Matt Fox, Waco Star, Neo Rashi, Milk Sama, Lucian Ryu Cat, Alan Iwazu, Shin Snake, Joseph Raismick, Freighton, Zecredo, Robert Johnson, Jamie, Crazy Cat, Michael O'Connor, Robert Sylvester, Jesus Hernandez, Kayonko, Burz and Mystery, Juan M. Hermesio, Eric DeWitt, Tasha Monti, Mazgus, Matt Hargett, Dr. Super Artie, Romp King, Donut Valley, Jackie, Azumara, 1488 Dental, Saqib Alam, Smug Wolf, Larry Anderson, H Hitter, Jale, Lori Sweeney, Richard Cruz, PS Vita S, Adam Sondi, Hero Acer, BMF, Clayton Merlarkey, Joshua Williams, Jared Hado, Kevin Enright, Heston Joseph, Aaron Swanson, Rodrigo Vera, Sculpture Tugel TCG, Adam Thury, Per Sterner, Erock, JR, Kyle Brooks, Saul Ramirez, Phantom XRS, Gutter Drums, Himdal Imbert, Wendy K, and David Ray. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. Likes and shares can help equally as much. And Joshua Michael French, if you're out there, well then, you're out there. And I probably made you uncomfortable during the entire video.